Phil McCormick here and welcome to the Self-Supporting Challenge Part 2. I challenge you out there to come up with a bigger structure than either myself or Zach had made in the past. And here is what I've gotten. To recap, Zach made a structure with 10 supports, so I did one with 11. Team Linnell Rad from Australia outdid mine with 13. Oscar and Felix from Germany also did 13, but with a cool tower. Brad and Jeff from Australia then did 17. Zach's family, not to be outdone, then got 18. And Polly and Max from Canada tied it with 18. Then Zach's family started showing up. And finally, Maria tried it in a different way and tested to see if her structure could support her own weight. And it did! For a moment. <laughs> and that was not the fault of the self-supporting structure. That was the fault of the, the supports just sliding out on the floor. Let's let's check that again because it's so awesome. <laughs> so here we go. I was gonna max it out completely. Then I got 50 cups, and then I got 50 knives, and I laid them out in a circle, but here's what happened. That circle just got so big that the knives wouldn't reach to the next knife over, which basically is our limit, which is where a lot of you are getting to. The circle gets so big that you really can't get it any bigger because the knives won't reach. When you have a small number of cups, the circle is really small, and so whatever you're using as your supports don't have trouble reaching. But if you use a very large number of cups, the supports can barely reach from one cup to another. And if they do, they basically just end up as wide as the circle of cups. I mean, there you go, but so what? It's not very impressive. You can't put anything in the middle there. So how do we max this out in a way that's impressive? Well, one of the ways we might be able to do it is by using smaller cups. So now I have a ring that's roughly the same size, but I've got more cups. So let's see if that makes a difference. Hmm, not really. So I think the only thing to do is to start again. So there's 22 cups in a big circle. Now, we need something longer than knives or the craft sticks that I was using, and check it out, I found these shish kebab skewers. Now, those of you who know me from Science Max know that I love shish kebab skewers because they're so helpful in making all kinds of things, but check it out. I found these ones that are long and flat because as you'll remember from the last video, it needs to be flat or you're gonna have a bad day. Oh. These ones are so much longer, about twice the length of what we were using before. Let's see if that makes a difference. Well, it totally makes a difference, doesn't it? These are almost too long. They're almost too long, which means I could probably expand this circle quite a bit. All right, let's try it again. cups in a maxed out circle plus two new ideas. The first one, pretty simple. Instead of holding down that first stick the entire time, just use a weight. Also, other idea that I had was finding that center point is helpful, I think, making that circle in the middle nice and even. Maybe that will help. All right, let's find out how it goes. Oh, no. There. Phew. There were a few times where I was really worried, but it eventually came together. And it's interesting because just the way it had to go together, it ended up with a big circle after all. There must be a reason, a mathematical reason why it works like this. I bet you an architect might be able to tell us, or a mathematician. And if you know any architects or mathematicians who might be able to answer, this question, how long the pieces need to be, what angle they should be at, the number of cups that there are there. But in the meantime, we will use science to figure out how we can do bigger and better by just simple experimentation. So there you go. I experimented and I have come up with a structure now of 30 cups and 30 struts supporting each other. And just to prove that it does, in fact, support itself, let's just put stuff on top until it collapses. Empty paint can, tape measure, pair of pliers, 
<laughs> it still works. Okay, I'm gonna get something else. Hammer. This is totally gonna make it fall. No, it's still standing. I can't believe it. <laughs> Wrench. Oh, it still works. Screwdriver. Science tape. Chisel. Wow, I'm so surprised it works so well. Another chisel. Totally gonna break. It still hasn't broken. This is mind blowing. But just look at how much it's bending. It's totally bending. Pair of pliers. Another screwdriver. Another screwdriver. <laughs> I'm running out of tools. Hammer. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Now, if I wanted to really know for sure, what I would do is I would take this entire stack of things and weigh it. Okay, tell you what, I'll do that afterwards and then I'll put how much it weighed on the screen. Huh? Wow, actually that's quite a lot. It held quite a bit. So there you go, maxed out support challenge. See if you can make it even bigger or better or more awesome or if you think you know a scientist or an engineer or an architect or a mathematician that might be able to give us some pointers on how long a thing to use for a strut or how many units of cups around the circle or something like that, share this video with them and maybe they can give us some insight. And if you are that person and you're watching this video going, oh, 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 Phil, you don't know for math. You should know about the thing with the structure and the formula and the whatnot. Well then please let me know what the whatnot is on my Facebook question hub and maybe we can use that information to make it even bigger and better and more maxed out. So in the meantime, don't forget to share it and like it and subscribe it and stay curious.